My name's Jack Leader. I'm a managing partner at the Elrod Pope Law Firm. I want to talk today about the prejudice and bias that accompanies people who are operating a motorcycle and are injured. People that own and operate motorcycles generally are considered to be in the same category as people that operate automobiles. The problem is that the general public and insurance companies have a bias against people operating motorcycles. The theory they have is that, well, if you're on a motorcycle, then you're asking for whatever happens to you because you have no protection. People who are on motorcycles receive much more serious injuries than people in automobile collisions just because of the exposure. If somebody's injured very badly and they're in a hospital, and they have limited liability coverage on the person that hit them and caused the wreck, then insurance companies try and lowball them and make a very quick early settlement with them to get the case off the books and treat them about as unfairly as they can be treated because the people are desperate for money. So when we get in a motorcycle accident case, we take a little more extra time, it's a little more loving care. We have some former highway patrolmen that investigate motorcycle wrecks for us specifically. They're much more in tune to how the wrecks happen and causation. We spend extra money on motorcycle cases in that we have color illustrations set up that diagram specifically how the accident occurred, that depict the actual damages, because many of these cases involve brain injury damages. It's very, very devastating to the motorcycle rider, and to his family. If someone who is watching this is injured on a motorcycle or has suffered even property damage to their motorcycle, we are always available here for a phone call or a consultation. There's no charge for either one, and we're more than happy to discuss any case involving motorcycle accidents.